powerful for generating quick texture maps based on a single image file. Um, so to start, uh, download and open Crazy Bump. I'll throw a link to Crazy Bump in the description. Um, you just want to go to open, and usually I end up working from a just like JPEG image or PNG or whatever, but um, I'll go to select a random image file from my computer, give it a few seconds, and then you'll see that it should pull up um, this, and you can just select um, if you want recesses versus uh, raised areas um, for your image. I, in this case, I guess want raised. You can also just go back later and try both. Uh, and then it'll generate a bunch of maps and give you a little spinning ball to preview your texture. And you can switch that between um, boxes, uh, columns. You can import your own mesh if you want to. I'm usually lazy and I just use the ball. Um, you can also turn on and off all of the texture channels. So if I don't want to preview diffuse, Maybe I only want to... I forgot about the colored lights option. I do like the colored lights option. But it's like easier to see some details, I think. But um, So if I only want to preview, in this case, uh, specularity, or, oh, I guess... I guess it previews normals by default, which is kind of weird. But um, yeah, so if I only, I guess, want to adjust the normals, um, I can go in here and you can see that it will... Uh, update more or less live, um, and then all of these sliders do stuff. To be honest, the detail sliders I just sort of fiddle with until I have something that I like, and I can never tell what they actually do. Um, we can go and, you know, change all the specularity and all that kind of stuff. Um, slope influence. Interesting. Um, but anyway, so assuming that you have fiddled with things and are happy with whatever this is done. Um, you can save a single file at a time, so whichever little tab you have selected. So right now I had specularity. Um, if I switch to displacement, you can save just the displacement file, and then you just have to go and manually do that per tab. Uh, or you can save all of your textures. Um, last time I did that, it crashed my computer, but then it did seem... well, no, sorry. It, uh, the, the program stopped responding, uh, but it did actually generate the files um, after the program was shut down. Uh, so I'm not going to do that again, but I mean that's pretty much how you would upload stuff to Crazy Bump, and it's lovely to get a normal map, which is kind of just nicer than a bump map in my opinion, but I mean that's, that's Crazy Bump. It doesn't like gigantic texture files. Um, it gets real upset and usually just closes if you put in like a 4,000 by 4,000 pixel image. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty powerful for just generating texture maps really fast, so I would highly recommend you check it out if you like texturing or if you're new to CG modeling and are looking for a way to make textures a little more sexy. Um, you can do the liking or subscribing thing if you want, or you cannot do that and just have a lovely merry day. Peace, dudes.